Hi everyone, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day and so for breakfast on Monday this week I made a banoffee bowl. I started by slicing up one banana and then I took some of my oat cluster cereal, the recipe for this will be down below, and I layered that in the bottom of a bowl. I then added on the banana and gave it a bit of a mix together, took some of my homemade toffee caramel sauce and drizzled that on top and I also took a can of coconut coconut milk, if you leave this in the fridge overnight the thicker cream forms on the top so I just scooped out a little bit of that and added it to the bowl. I then topped it with some cacao nibs and that created this little thrown together banoffee bowl. It looks quite sickly as a breakfast but it really isn't that sickly at all, though you could easily do this as a dessert as well. Banoffee pie is one of my favourite things, it's so easy to make vegan and this is a really quick way to just throw one together as an individual portion or just as a different way of doing it. For a mid-morning snack I made a sour cherry and almond smoothie. For this I added one banana, half a cup of frozen cherries, one cup of almond milk, two tablespoons of almond butter and one tablespoon of maple syrup into my food processor and I blended that up until it was smooth and then I just poured it out into a glass. I love the combination of cherries and almonds together. It gives kind of an all round cherry bakewell taste and you'll know that I love that from the baked oatmeal that I made in my previous video. For lunch I made four avocado toast combinations. I first placed two slices of superfood bread under the grill to toast and then I chopped up some roasted red peppers from a jar, some sun-dried tomatoes, some dill, some spring onion and then I halved a pomegranate and peeled some cucumber strips. Once the toast was done I halved them and I placed them on a plate then I mashed up one avocado in its shell and then spread that on top of the toast. I then divided the toppings so I did one slice with the cucumber, dill and spring onion, another with the sun-dried tomatoes and then some torn basil, another with the pomegranate seeds and the final one with the red pepper strips. I then seasoned them with some salt and pepper and squeezed over the juice of half a lemon. Avocado toast is a pretty standard breakfast or lunch for me but I love to add different things just to switch it up from time to time. It's a bit fancier and I think so much works with avocado, you can really experiment and just try out so many different things. Plus, all of the colours look so amazing and it just makes it fun. For an afternoon snack I had a packet of these, the Giving Tree Broccoli Crisps. And these are basically just crunchy pieces of vacuum fried broccoli, they're fried in rice bran oil and they're really really crispy but they keep all of the taste and goodness that fresh broccoli would. I personally like the more savoury ones but they also do some fruit crisps like strawberry, peach and mango too. And these are just a really great snack for when I'm at home working on my laptop but I like to throw them in my bag to eat them on the go as well. For dinner I made a Thai red vegetable curry. I started by slicing up one white onion, then I added one teaspoon of coconut oil to a pan on a medium heat, and then I added in the onions and allowed those to cook until they were soft. In that time I made up a red curry paste in my food processor using four chopped shallots, three cloves of garlic, one chopped red chilli, one thumb sized piece of grated fresh ginger, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of red pepper paste or you could use tomato paste, two teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of ground coriander, the zest from one lime, a pinch of salt and a quarter of a cup of water. I blended that up until smooth and then I added two tablespoons of the paste to the cooked onions. You're left with another two tablespoons which you can save in the fridge for up to a week for another curry. I fried that off and then I sliced up one sweet red pepper, two peeled carrots, a large handful of green beans and around 8 to 10 medium sized mushrooms. I next added the pepper and the carrots to the pan, fried those off and then added in the green beans and the mushrooms. I let that cook for 5 minutes before adding in one can of coconut milk which I'd also opened to use for breakfast. 
gave it a good mix and then I placed the lid on and left it to simmer whilst I cooked up some brown rice to have with it. Around 10 minutes before it was done I added in some baby corn as this really doesn't take long to cook and then I served the rice into bowls and then the curry with it. I tend to load up on the vegetables and then pour over the remaining sauce and I also added on some basil, you could use some Thai basil but I find that regular basil works really well too. Thai curries are probably my favourite meal, I tend to make green curries more often though and I'll link to my recipe for that down below. I make my own paste now as I find so many pre-made curry pastes contain fish sauce, however a traditional paste would also have lemongrass so you could add that in too. I just couldn't find any but I always think that the combination of lime zest and fresh ginger works really well to replace it. For dessert I made some crunchy peanut butter and chocolate bites. For this I just placed half a cup of my oat cluster cereal in a bowl with four tablespoons of peanut butter, you could use smooth or crunchy, and one tablespoon of maple syrup and I gave that a really good mix together. I then formed four balls out of the mix and placed those on a plate. If you give the mix a really good squeeze it sticks together and then you can shape them. I popped those in the freezer for 20 minutes to set, then I removed them and drizzled over some chock shot which is a vegan liquid chocolate and it's amazing. I changed them over to another dish and then we just had two of those each. They're the perfect little treat and they take no time at all to make and you could totally double the recipe to make more if you wanted to. And that is it for another day on my plate. As always all of the recipes and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!